Hi there internet people, I'm back again with yet another Unity tip. But first, just to make you aware, I regularly stream game development content and some gaming over on Twitch. So head over there now via the link in the description and follow me to get notifications of when I'm streaming. Enough with the waffle, let's crack on. Previously, when I wanted to identify whether a game object was on screen or not, I'd use something similar to this. This has its downsides though. It utilises CPU time on every frame, which is not ideal. Pause the video and try this out and you'll see for yourself what I mean when reviewing the console output. Instead of using this old method, I've now adapted to using on became visible and its relative on became invisible. These two built-in Unity callback methods are very useful for identifying when an object can be seen. They're much less processor intensive than my previous approach, especially as they also can be used to help control contention on the processor by allowing an object to perform more involved tasks only when visible. These methods do have a couple of quirks to watch out for though, as they are controlled by the game object's renderer. The quirks to consider are that any camera can trigger them, even the scene view camera within the editor. Also, as they are associated with the renderer, even when an object is off screen, but affecting on screen rendering, they may be considered visible. Now we know about these methods, let's head over to Unity and work through a simple example. So step one is for us to create ourselves a game object. Then we need to go ahead and attach a new script to that game object. And open that script up. In this example, we'll remove the start and update methods as they're not needed. Then we'll add the first of the new callback methods on became visible. In the method, we'll simply output to the console with an appropriate message. Next, I'm going to add the second callback method, on became invisible. And again, add a simple output to the console with an appropriate message. I'll go ahead and compile them and then head back over to Unity. Now to ensure that we don't trigger the methods with the scene view camera, I'll set the object to be out of view by adjusting its X position. I'll now ensure the console is visible and click play. Nothing will happen at this point, but if I adjust the X axis of the game object to make it visible again, hey presto, the on became visible message appears. Now if I adjust the X axis back so that it's off screen again, the on became invisible message appears. It's that easy. So how is this useful, you may ask me? Well, let's look at a couple of examples. In The Last of Us, the non-player characters may be using this approach to detect when they are visible so that they can engage their AI to start searching and attacking the player. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the wildlife may be using this approach before they also engage their AI to perform their various tasks. The non-player characters in this game may also be doing very similar. In The Witcher 3, the non-player characters in the taverns may be using a similar approach to detect when the player should be hearing the chatter. That's just a few examples. There's many more and I am sure you'll be able to come up with some imaginative uses of these methods. I really hope that this Unity tip was useful for you. If you like this video, please click like and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of my future videos. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me via Twitter or in the comments below. Thank you for watching.